Hey everybody, this is Ryan Gable with Starting Point Realty here in Chicago, Illinois. And it's the beginning of June 2018, just a couple things we want to go over with everybody. First thing, interest rates are at 4.75%. That's up a little bit over last year at this time, as well as the beginning of this year. And we spoke a little bit in April about the market in Chicago. So what's going on? We're still a little bit off at this point last year. We're down 2% over the total volume of sales. And we're also down 6% over the total amount of transactions. So, but it's still, right now, it's the heavy time. There's a lot of movement in the market. There's a lot of complaints of low inventory. I have seen it worse. However, it's definitely not at the level that a lot of buyers would like to see. So what I wanna talk about is what you can do in a multiple offer situation, okay? When there's low amount of inventory in, certain, in these areas, there are going to be multiple offers like for instance, out of the 10 offers that, that Starting Point Realty made this weekend, nine of them were in a multiple offer situation. So I just wanna talk about a couple tips, maybe some ideas of what you can do when this happens uh, in your situation, okay? Uh, especially for first time buyers. So the first thing is, and this used to be pretty prevalent and then it kinda of died down a little bit, I'm starting to see it come back, which is write a letter. You as the buyer, write a letter to the seller saying what it is, why, why you like this house, why you wanna be in this neighborhood, what drew you to it, okay? Now, if it's a condominium in the city, it's pretty transient, it sells every five, six years, maybe that's not gonna be an impact. However, if it's a single family house in the suburbs and they've been in that house for 25, 30 years and they've raised their family and you know grandkids are in and out, the whole thing, trust me, that letter is going to make a very, very big impact. Remember, when you have a multiple offer situation, you could have big gaps in the price of what's being offered, but it's sometimes I've seen it even on listings that we have, it could be within $500. So believe me, that little bit can make a very big difference in who you are and why, what appeals to you to buy the house, okay? So please, writing a letter is a good idea. It never hurts you, so let me put it that way, okay? Um, the second thing, your agent. Have your agent write a story about you. You know, are you in a uh, a corporate job, something you've been in for a while, are you, are you a teacher, are you, some, are you in a profession that is very reliable. The worst thing that can happen in a real estate transaction, one of the worst, is when a deal falls through due to financing, okay? Uh, so what you wanna do is you wanna come across that that's not going to happen with you. You're going to be very solid. So the more that your agent is going to talk about you as well, as well as, well as you talking about why you like the house, it's going to help, okay? Um, the third part, when making an offer, have your agent include your lender in an email, okay? So what we've been doing lately is when I make an offer, especially if I know it's a multiple offer situation, I will include the, the lender um, in the email so that he can also correspond as well and talk about how approved and how solid the buyer is, okay? Again, you're trying to get over that hump. The other thing too, what we've done in the past is we've made an offer and then I have told the lender that pre-approves you, we have them call the seller's agent directly within 60 minutes. That is a very, very big strategy as well. Trust me, anything that you're, is going to push you over the edge when it's that close in price, that is going to be something that's gonna be very big. Now, a lot of times, you're not gonna get the property if you're going into multiple offer situations, especially if you're doing low, low down payment, things like that. Please don't give up. Don't have your agent give up. If you miss out on a property, please make sure that your agent is following up every day. How's the deal going? How's the inspection? What's going on? Because believe me, we do it, and a lot of times it's, it's the squeaky wheel gets the grease, right? The more that you're making noise, when something happens, if it falls through, and believe me, a lot of deals do fall through, especially in the first couple of weeks, you're gonna be, your agent is gonna be the one that's gonna get that phone call. So don't just give up on it. Make sure that you're staying on top of it. Make sure that your agent is staying on top of it. So these are just a couple tips that I wanna share with you during this time of year where things are uh, very, very busy and what's going on and maybe a couple of these things will help you actually get the house that you're looking for. A couple personal things. I saw two movies recently, Solo and The Greatest Showman. I'm gonna say it, I didn't think I'd say, I could say it out loud. The Greatest Showman was a better movie. So if, you're, if it's between those two, renting or going to the theater, watch The Greatest Showman. And then from a music standpoint, really good concert playing next week. Ben Harper with Charlie Musselwhite at Thalia Hall in Chicago on the south side, uh, July 30th. That's a pick to click. Go check that one out. And everybody, thank you so much for tuning in.
Thank you.